WTVF, Nashville. The Shell Big News, brought to you by the Shell Oil Company and your friendly neighborhood Shell dealer. Here with tonight's big news is Al Kenga. There are cities larger than Nashville, but we believe there are no cities more interesting. Our job is telling what happens in Nashville on a day-to-day -day basis, and we're never short on material, we just have to dig it out. This is Election Night Tennessee with Chris Clark and Jerry Gold reporting. Brought to you by your local Coca-Cola bottlers. Good evening. The polls close in Nashville in about seven minutes, but 31% of the precincts have been counted in Tennessee, and so far Richard Nixon is holding on to a lead that he caught at the very beginning of the vote count. Checking right now with uh, 824 precincts reporting, that's about 31%. Humphrey has 25% of the vote. Nixon has 43% of the vote. And Wallace, 32% of the vote. So Nixon is in first place in Tennessee right now with Wallace second. A Metro detective said today that a sentence given a youth accused of shooting him was too light. The uh, an unusual discovery of narcotics and uh, convicts are bound over to the grand jury. Details on these and other stories coming up next on Channel 5 News. CTV, Nashville, Tennessee. WLAC TV reports today, Newsmaker. Experienced newsmen question a leading public figure. WLAC TV reports is presented by the Channel 5 Department of News and Public Affairs. Good evening. WLAC TV, Nashville. Good evening, I'm Harry Chapman. Tonight, Chris Clark is in Washington. CBS News will be giving continuous coverage of resignation-related events beginning almost immediately. Developments in Nashville today in connection with the prediction of presidential resignation are of consequence to WLAC-TV. Therefore, we will present these developments in our regular news report and will then join the CBS network for their coverage. Witness News, a complete look at the events that make this day unique in news, weather, and sports. Shaped by the people of our time, as reported by the Channel 5 Eyewitness News team. This Thursday, August 8th, Nashvilleans, along with fellow Tennesseans and Americans, are looking toward the White House as to the decision of President Nixon concerning his possible resignation. Eyewitness News Director Chris Clark is in the nation's capital this evening. And Chris, what is the speculation there tonight? Harry, when you talk to congressmen and congressional staff members, they all seem convinced that the president will resign tonight. But WLAC-TV, Nashville. Good evening, I'm Chris Clark. And in the news tonight, it now appears that reports that two children were sold in Nashville for $24 cash may be nothing more than a hoax. Alexander is endorsed by the Nashville Banner, and a survey shows that many housewives believe that meat is now a bargain. Ron Kaiser has promised us more nice weather, and Hope Hines has a report on a big tennis game being played. Eyewitness News, a complete look at the events that make this day unique in news, weather, and sports. Shaped by the people of our time, as reported by the Channel 5 Eyewitness News team. First, let me thank Harry Chapman and Rick Little for sitting in for me during the past two weeks. WLAC-TV, Nashville. Good evening, everybody. I am Chris Clark. In the news tonight, a shot was fired at President Ford. He was not injured. We'll bring you updated information on that. A strike by prisoners at the state penitentiary appears to be fizzling out. The National Guard is going to withdraw some of their troops from there. A debate, meanwhile, has been scheduled between Clifford Allen and Gil Merritt, and Heaven Lee gave away kisses today in Murfreesboro. Ron Kaiser is giving away free advice on the weather outside. Have you worried there for a moment? <laughs> My Witness News.
First of all, here's updated information on the shot fired at President Ford moments ago. A bullet was fired at the president. Stay tuned for Eyewitness News next on Channel 5, WTVF, Nashville. From Television 5, this is Eyewitness News, Weather and Sports with Chris Clark, Dave Keeler, Mark Russell, and John Lashley. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Eyewitness News. I'm Dave Kaler, Chris Clark on assignment this evening. Stay tuned for Eyewitness News, next on Channel 5, WTVF, Nashville. From Television 5, this is Eyewitness News, Weather and Sports, with Chris Clark, Dave Kaler, Mark Russell, and John Lashley. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Eyewitness News. Chris has the night off, and here's what's happened today. Tragedy leads off our Christmas newscast. A young... This is Eyewitness News Update, brought to you by Preston Lincoln Mercury. Good evening. No one knows who hijacked a TWA jetliner to Geneva today. After the people were released, no one could identify the hijacker. All passengers are being held for questioning. In Tennessee, a legislative committee is investigating how many people have stayed on cars who don't really need them. The committee believes the cars are being used for personal driving, which is against the law. And cardinals in Rome are locked up tonight in their conclave to choose a new pope. The full story is at 10. This is an Eyewitness News update, brought to you by Mid-South Siding Company. Good morning. I hope you have a good day. This has been an Eyewitness News update, brought to you by Mid-South Siding Company. Television 5, this is Eyewitness News, weather and sports, with Chris Clark, meteorologist Ron Howes, and Walt Adams. Good evening, Metro Police spent most of today. From Television 5, this is Eyewitness News, weather and sports. With Chris Clark, Jan Ryan, professional meteorologist Ron Howes, and sports with Walt Adams. Good evening. The two Nashville teenagers kidnapped early Sunday morning have been freed, and they are in good condition. This is an Eyewitness News update brought to you by The Sandman, Tennessee's sleeping giant for more than a decade. Good morning. I'm John Megley. I'm John Megley. Have a good morning. And don't forget, it's going to be mighty windy today, so don't let it fool you. This was an Eyewitness News update. Brought to you by Sharon Mattress, manufacturer and fabricator of fine bedding and upholstery. From Television 5, this is Eyewitness News, weather and sports. Good evening, everyone. In two hours, Governor Alexander will go before the state led. From Television 5, this is Eyewitness News, weather and sports. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Clark. I'm Ruth Ann Leach. In our news tonight, testimony began the day in the murder. This is an Eyewitness News update, brought to you by The Sandman, 642 West Iris Drive. Good morning, I'm John Megley. In the news at 725, the day after Election Day will warm up a little. 
Our next news will come along this morning at 8 o'clock when Nancy Mathis and Ron Kaiser join me, John Megley, for Eyewitness Morning News. We'll, of course, have a complete wrap-up of Election Day 84, and we hope you'll join us. We'll also keep you abreast of the weather. The weather, by the way, has caused postponement of the Space Shuttle Challenger liftoff today. Have a good morning. This has been an Eyewitness News update. Brought to you by The Sandman, 642 West Iris Drive. From WTVF, Nashville, this is Channel 5 Eyewitness News. There's no evidence of kickbacks in the purchase of police radios. Good evening, I'm Ruth Ann Lee. And I'm Chris Clark. From WTVF, Nashville, this is Channel 5 Eyewitness News. family quarrel leaves two people dead and two others wounded. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Watkins. From Channel 5, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jim Watkins. More good news in the weather. Here's Ron Kaiser to fill us in. If you have anything you want to do outside, today would be an awfully good day to do it. It's going to be another nice one for us. Temperatures up to 38 in our area. But I'll be back with more news in about 50 minutes. Right now we'll go back to CBS. Later this morning, I'll have a news update on Talk of the Town. That's at 11 o'clock and then midday at 1 o'clock. Take care. From Channel 5, this has been an Eyewitness News update. Eyewitness News with Les Heinz and Joe Case with Weather. Good morning, I'm John Lindgren filling in for Les Heinz and welcome to the Eyewitness Morning News for this Friday, September 25th. We share the spirit of God. From Nashville's news station, this is Eyewitness News. With Chris Clark, Brenda Blackman, meteorologist Ron Howes, and Hope Hines on sports. Good evening, everyone. We share the spirit of God. Nashville's news station. This is Eyewitness News. With Chris Clark, meteorologist Ron Howes, and Hope Hines on sports. A very pleasant good evening, everyone. The race for mayor took a new twist tonight. The From Nashville's news station. This is Eyewitness News. Good evening, everyone. I'm we share the spirit of God. From Nashville's news station, this is Eyewitness News. With Chris Clark, Brenda Blackman, Meteorologist Ron Howes and Hope Hines on sports. Good evening, everyone. There are reports tonight that the giant Saturn plant under construction in Spring Hill may not be as giant as first thought. Reports out of Detroit say plans for the plant are being scaled back. Live from Channel 5. This is Eyewitness News with Chris Clark, Ruth Ann Leach, Ron Howes with Weather, and Hope Hines on Sports.
Good evening, everyone. Admitting some mistakes and some stubbornness, Congressman Bill Boner released his income tax returns and other financial data. This is the News Channel 5, 6 o'clock report with Chris Clark. Good evening, everyone. It was a question of justice in more than one way. Mickey Lassiter says he was only doing his civic duty by serving on the county grand jury. The this is the News Channel 5, 6 o'clock report with Chris Clark. Good evening. This is the News Channel 5, 6.30 report with Bud Hedinger. Good evening. We're glad you're with us. Topping our news tonight, Colombia's president fires a salvo in the all-out war against his country's drug dealers. We have two reports for you. First, today's extraordinary appeal by President Virgilio Barco which brought the drug war down to street level. This is the News Channel 5, 6 o'clock report. This is the News Channel 5, 10 o'clock report. You're watching WTVF, Nashville. This is the News Channel 5, 6 o'clock report with Chris Clark and Vicki Yates. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Clark. And I'm Vicki Yates. Thanks for joining us. This is the News Channel 5, 6.30 report with Bud Hedinger. Good evening. We're glad you're with us. Topping our news tonight. This is the News Channel 5, Weekend Report. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lydia Lanker. Thanks for joining us. News Channel 5 Network. This is News Channel 5 at 10. Your news and information leader. Good evening, everybody, and Happy New Year. I'm Lydia Link. From the News Channel 5 Network. This is News Channel 5 at 10. Your news and information leader. He spends more money on a tax cut for the wealthiest one percent let me talk about tax cuts one more time this is a man whose plan excludes 50 million americans not so a war of words in boston tonight as the two presidential candidates go head to head in their first debate from the news channel 5 network this is news channel 5 at 10. your news and information from the news channel 5 network this is News Channel 5 at 6, your news and information leader. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Clark. And I'm Vicki Yates. Thousands of Metro students decide to take the day off from school, but they weren't just playing hooky. Find out why so many students skipped classes. Plus, if you break the law, you have to pay the price, right? Evidently, justice is not for everyone. We'll tell you why in a News Channel 5 exclusive. And you better make some adjustments to your weekend travel plans. Traffic around town is going to be just plain awful. The news is now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Clark. And I'm Vicki Yates. From the News Channel 5 Network. This is News Channel 5 at 10. Your news and information leader. Good evening. I'm Chris Clark. And I'm Amy Marcy. I'm your news and information leader. This is News Channel 5 at 5 with Amy Marsalis and Steve Urban. Good evening, everybody. It's been a bad day for drivers on the north side of town. And it's only going to get worse. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 6 with Chris Clark and Vicki Yates. Good evening, everyone. Bad behavior. We've covered stories about bad kids. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 6 with Chris Clark and Vicki Yates. 
Good evening, everyone. How low can they go? That's what parents and teachers are asking tonight in Putnam County. The school board has to cut more than a million dollars to balance its budget. Straight ahead, some students at a Middle Tennessee high school are going to be tested for TB. The 24 crew members being held in China finally on their way back home. An explosion rocks a Goodwill store in Cookville, and a father is charged with killing his young son. The news is now. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 10 with Chris Clark and Amy Marsalis. Good evening, everyone. Amy Marsalis is off tonight. In our news, a four-year-old is dead. His father, Charles. Your news and information leader. This is News Channel 5 This Morning with Steve Hazlip, Kristen Friesong, and meteorologist Leland Statham. Live with breaking news from your news and information leader. This is News Channel 5 at 6. Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with what some are calling a miracle in Utah. Next, News Channel 5 investigates. Phil Williams opens the case file. Some want to stay closed. Then, President Bush on immigration. What do you think? Plus, News Channel 5 unveils a first in Middle Tennessee. Live with Sky 5 from your news and information leader. This is News Channel 5 at 10. It was the tragic death of a little boy that resulted in a once prominent medical examiner losing his license. With breaking news, live with Sky 5. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 10. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 10. Good evening, I'm Nick Paris. Thanks so much for joining us. Straight ahead on News Channel 5 at 6, President Bush comes to town. We'll tell you why he's here in a live report. And an accident claims the life of a Metro police officer. What caused the car he was in to plunge into the river? And last night's victory over the Raiders was a big win for the Titans. But it may come with a big price to attach to it. We'll have the injury report. The news is now. From your news and information leader. Here's News Channel 5 at 6. Good evening. Last night he addressed the nation. Tonight, President Bush is addressing Tennesseans. The president arrived in Nashville this afternoon, stopped by a school first. Now he's... From your news and information leader. This is News Channel 5 at 6. Good evening, everybody. I'm Scott Couch. Chris Clark is off tonight. The jury reaches a verdict in the Perry March conspiracy trial. Guilty or not guilty? We'll have a live report. What started as a police chase ended like this. The latest on a deadly crash in Davidson County. And it's country music's biggest party. The CMA Music Festival is in full swing. We have team coverage from downtown. And we've had a good afternoon with dry weather around the area for CMA Music Fest in Riverfront Park right now. The temperature coming in at 83 degrees. Your news begins now. Live with Sky 5. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 6. And good evening, everyone. The verdict is in. From your news and information leader, Tennessee's first local news in high definition. This is News Channel 5 this morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. It is Thursday. I'm Steve Hayslip. Amy is off this morning. Leland's off as well, but Kelly is in with a pretty good Turkey Day forecast. From your news and information leader, Tennessee's first and only local news in high definition. This is News Channel 5 at 4. New details about the huge building fire that left part of downtown Nashville smothered in smoke. The fire started around 9 o'clock last night. Today, we hear firsthand from a man who found himself asleep in the middle of it all and survived. Live with breaking news from your news and information leader, Tennessee's first and only local news in high definition. This is News Channel 5 at 5. Freezing temperatures and snow made for a slippery start to the day. And the snow is out of our area, moving off to the northeast, but now the cold is going to be a factor. I'll have the latest. 
And the latest in the prescription drug scandal, the pharmacist in the case finds himself in court, and the Williamson County Sheriff finds himself in rehab. We'll have a live report in just a bit. Plus, a body found inside a burning vehicle in Nashville tonight. Police believe the fire was no accident. And a toddler left home alone. Now, you'll find it hard to believe why police say the parents weren't there. The news is now. From your news and information leader, Tennessee's first and only local news in high definition. This is News Channel 5 at 6. The snow started falling early this morning in Middle Tennessee. And it was still on the ground when we woke up this morning. Good evening, everyone. Most of the snow is melted, but it is still freezing cold out there. Your news and information leader. Tennessee's first and only local news in high definition. You are watching View Channel 5 at 6. With Vicki Yates, Rory Johnston, Chief Meteorologist Ron House, and Sports with Hope Hines. From your news and information leader, Tennessee's first and only local news in high definition. This is News Channel 5 at 10. It's caught them running red lights, so why are these drivers running to the judge? From your news and information leader, Tennessee's first local news in high definition. This is News Channel 5 at 6. Everything just happens so fast that... Get these images, the aftermath of a Navy F-14 fire. I think we need to do everything and anything we can to try to keep our school children safe. But should that include teachers carrying guns? What one county's leaders are doing to make it more of an option? Fake iPads, a car chase, and shots fired. Tonight, the wild ride that led police to arrest those who were ripped off. A mother and five children get the scare of their lives. Masked burglars break into their home in broad daylight. We're not really expecting nothing like this. And with the predator season still on ice, struggling downtown businesses find help to make ends meet. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 6. Hi, everyone. Could it be the first step toward allowing teachers to carry guns in schools? One local leader wants to make it easier for teachers to get the training they need to use guns safely in the wake of the school shooting in Connecticut last. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 10. Hi, everyone. Happening now, the push to keep a new hotel out of Printer's Alley in downtown Nashville is in... They survived a plane crash. And even more amazing is there's almost nothing left of the plane. And the search is finally over. Meet the new director of schools here in Nashville. Plus, it's almost steeplechase time, so get those hats ready and get ready to have a good time. Your news is now. From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 this morning. Good morning and welcome to News Channel 5 this morning. A pilot and his two great Your news and information leader. This is News Channel 5 at 4. New information in the search for a missing East Tennessee girl. Nine year old Carly Trent was taken from her school by her leader. This is News Channel 5 at 5. The search for a missing Tennessee girl is now in its sixth day. Yeah, and we are learning more today that the TBI is setting up a command post out. In Tonight, where is she? The search for nine-year-old Carly Trent. This was a good location for us to start. One-on-one -on -one with Vice President Joe Biden. Tonight, my News Channel 5 exclusive interview where no topic is off limits. So you do it the Tennessee way. Only in Nashville, thousands turn out for Keith Urban's free concert. Even Sky 5 was invited. Two inmate deaths inside a mid-state jail. Tonight, the sheriff speaks exclusively with News Channel 5. From your news and information leader, 
This is News Channel 5 at 6. Good evening. New at 6 tonight, a report of no criminal wrongdoing in the cases of two inmates found dead. In From your news and information leader, this is News Channel 5 at 10. volunteers to help. Former House Speaker Glenn Cassida admits to more mistakes. News Channel 5 investigates why he's answering new questions. Calls grow louder for Metro Police Chief Steve Anderson to step down. But as for the chief himself, silence. This is News Channel 5 at 6. The call started with protesters. Send more than, more than a dozen Metro Council members in tonight, the ACLU. All are demanding the resignation. This is News Channel 5 at 10. Good evening. With hands over their hearts and tears in their eyes, hundreds lined the streets of Mount Juliet as the body of Charlie Daniels. Nashville makes national headlines, but not for the right reasons. What the White House had to say about a recent spike in coronavirus cases. And a Broadway bar asked to close or, you know, face jail time and a hefty fine. We've got the latest now on a lawsuit stemming from that case. Plus one question on every parent's mind to send their student back to school in person or do it online, but one group is forging their own path. I'll explain micro-schooling. This is News Channel 5 This Morning with Amy Watson, Storm 5 Senior Meteorologist Leland Statham, Storm 5 Meteorologist Nikki D. Ray, and 5 Live Traffic with Rebecca Schleicher. And good morning, everyone. I am Nick Barris. It is 530 mm -hmm. on Thursday. It is. Do you want to tell everybody what happened yesterday? I'm Amy Watson. You got caught in a pop-up thunderstorm. I don't really want to talk about it. Channel 5 at 4. There's only one way out of this crisis, and it is together. There is no easy fix. This is News Channel 5 at 4 with Vicki Yates, Carrie Sharp, and Storm 5 meteorologist Bree Smith. We're most interested in our kids and in their success. Parents face tough choices on how to send their kids safely back to school. Tonight, Williamson County's district reveals their plan. A Metro fifth grader writes an open letter to those crowding into downtown bars. Our actions affect other people. Canceled conventions add up to an eye-opening loss of revenue for Music City. Nashville hospitals began expanding their COVID-19 units as case numbers rise. There is no easy fix to a pandemic. Keeping you safe, informed, connected. This is News Channel 5 at 6. Good evening. The second highest increase in COVID-19 cases over a 24-hour period. More than 2,500 new cases confirmed since yesterday. Channel 5 at 10. Good evening. There is nothing typical when it comes to the start of school this year. And in one district, kids in the very same family may have very different looking first days. News Channel 5 at 530. Tennessee has not started the week on a good note when it comes to the COVID-19 pandemic. More than 3,000 new cases of the coronavirus have been... News Channel 5 at 10. An East Nashville neighborhood came together to mourn the death of a clerk who was killed during an attempted robbery. Harrison. News Channel 5 at 5. Good evening. That breaking news. The president has just canceled a big part of the Republican National Convention. It was said to have been held, as you know, in Jacksonville, Florida. This is a News Channel 5 update. Good Friday morning and thanks for joining us for this update. I'm Rebecca Schleicher. It is day two of CMA Fest. And as we get closer to the week, downtown Nashville. Keeping you safe, informed, connected. This is News Channel 5 This Morning. Friday, I am Rebecca Schleicher, and for the tens of South care to families and their pets. Celebrating 40 years on the News Channel 5 Network, this is Talk of the Town. Hey everybody, I'm Heather Mathis.
Miss Leland has the day off today, just kicking off the weekend a little bit early. Keeping you safe, informed, connected. This is News Channel 5 at 4. The 51st CMA Fest is in full swing this afternoon. Thank you for joining us here at 4. I'm Carrie Sharp. You know, each year, country music fans from a... Keeping you safe, informed, connected. This is News Channel 5 at 5. Sky 5 giving us this exclusive live look at a... Keeping you safe, informed, connected. This is News Channel 5 at 6. Nashville's biggest summer tradition is in full swing. CMA Fest taking over downtown and Scott. Keeping you safe, informed, connected. This is News Channel 5 at 10. Thousands of country music fans packing Nissan Stadium for the first night of CMA Fest performances. Right now, Thomas Rhett on stage, followed by Shabuzi, and then you're going to hear everybody singing Sweet Home Alabama as Leonard Skinner caps off the night. It's been a day jam-packed with good music, food, drinks, and of course, just so much fun. Thanks for joining us here at 10, everybody. I'm Rory Johnston. More news, more experience, more often.